Megumin was actually seen as a joke and a pariah by her village. In the Konosuba movie, Legend of Crimson, she had her epic moment with Yun Yun, casting incredibly powerful magic to deal with Sylvia, one of the generals of the Demon King. However, this did not happen in the novels. Once Sylvia had been killed by none other than Megumin's little sister, Kameko, who by the way had been kill-stealing from Kazuma, Sylvia stayed dead and did not come back for round two. Since the railgun absorbed Megumin's explosion spell, and technically Kameko and the device did all the work, Megumin was still seen as a joke and not even as a real crimson demon. She was even often called a spare. Her village did not take her seriously at all, and she was also somewhat embarrassed about them finding out that she can't use any other spell. Her former classmate Arue also told her that it is not too late to learn other spells besides just explosion, as she was somewhat concerned about this from her perspective odd choice. Incidentally, she also told Megumin that it is not too late to go down the Yun Yun route either, after hearing that Megumin became Kazuma's girlfriend, as Arue also was even more concerned about this from her perspective odd choice of Megumin as well. But that's another topic for another time. So Megumin did not have her great moment until much later, at the start of the end, right at the beginning of the last Konosuba volume, volume 17. There she had received an enormous load of high-quality, pure mana-charged manatite from Kazuma as a gift. And yes, the greedy Kazuma spent all of his money to buy these, making him broke once again. But that's also a story for another time. Buried hip-deep in what is the magical equivalent of plutonium, Megumin could cast her explosion spells in rapid fire. This much firepower had actually been necessary for once, since Aqua had run off on her own in order to heroically defeat the Demon King, who caused so much pain and suffering. Just kidding. She ran away to make everyone feel bad about how they treated her in Volume 16. Since Aqua had actually managed to break through the magical barrier of the Demon King's castle before Kazuma, Megumin, and Darkness could arrive, the group needed another way of getting inside the Demon King's castle. This was done thanks to Megumin's rapid-fire explosion spell, which not only broke down the barrier but also slew every incoming powerful knight and demon in charge of defending the castle, even a fallen angel empowered by mana straight from hell, rapidly healing his wounds. Hito had been reduced to nothing but ashes by a devastating series of explosion spells. This left Darkness completely stunned, and she even exclaimed that Megumin had become the most dangerous person alive. And on that day, Megumin had surpassed every single one of her fellow Crimson Demons, acquiring the rightful title of foremost among the Crimson Demon spellcasters. She not only had taken down a barrier that even Aqua could only momentarily penetrate, but she also had slain like 99% of the Demon King's forces. I absolutely adore the image of a moved and deeply happy Megumin, firing a rapid series of explosion spells while the Demon King's army had the worst day of its entire life. Okay, bye.